The 1999 holiday presentation is about color, impact, and exciting displays that work together to create a dynamic store experience for our customers. The presentation is critical for a successful holiday season, and here are the tools to make it happen in every store. It starts with the video. This video highlights the decorations and critical styling techniques. It will give you a hands-on experience to create perfect displays. Excitement also comes in the way of new marketing colorful banners with great imagery, gift boxes, and colorful signage. It is imperative that the marketing is positioned exactly as shown in the presentation book. Detailed instruction on these displays are found in the holiday presentation book, which also highlights the product placement, expanded shops, and new fixture guidelines. Supplemental memos will be sent to provide additional instructions on decorations and props. Utilize all the tools and you are sure to have a happy holiday. Holiday lights are used as a display element to bring holiday color to both men's and women's. The lights are scattered and clustered with care around the half body forms to add additional excitement and dimension to the display. Even unplugged, they are the perfect holiday touch. For men's, it's all in the layering to create these sharp yet casual looks. Pay close attention to the placement of each layer and how the body form arms are positioned to highlight the details. The composition of the body forms is also important to create the overall impact of these key looks. For women, the styling and attention to detail creates a casual yet elegant environment. The colored panels are a perfect backdrop to complement the half body forms. Here's how to achieve the look. Start by layering a cardigan over the woven shirt. You do not need to use the arm forms or tissue paper for this display. Push up the sleeves of the cardigan. Button the top button only and expose the collar. French cuff the button sleeve of the woven shirt, tucking the cuff of the cardigan into the cuff of the shirt. Repeat this process for the other sleeve and finesse. To create a feminine silhouette, make a large pleat on the back of the sweater and secure it with a pin. This will give the illusion of hips. Then button the next two buttons. Finesse to perfection. To achieve the casual, elegant look for the body forms, details are essential. Ensure proper fit by carefully pinning the items. Make a pleat on the back side of the skirt securing it with a pin. This will make a feminine silhouette. When the sweater is pulled into place, it will conceal the pin. Push the sleeve up and pin the hand to the waist of the skirt. Push the pin through the skirt into the form, applying gentle pressure. Avoid damage by using care when pinning any garment. Conceal the hand with the hem of the hooded top. Lower the sleeve and finesse.
To attach the handbag, place a pin through the hand and the handle of the handbag. Using pressure, press the pin through the skirt and into the body form, high on the hip and near the waistline. Conceal the pin with the shirt hem and pull down the sleeve. Adjust the clothing to complete the look. For men's, the warmest jacket creates the impact in this section. Graphic tees and plaid shirts complete the look. Select stores will receive the snowboard prop for added excitement. Safety is critical when implementing this display. We will demonstrate how to secure the snowboards. However, detailed instructions will be provided in the Holiday Brights presentation book. Begin by securing the body form to the stand. This step will ensure the body form is stable enough to support the snowboard. Using monofilament, wrap the support pole of the stand several times. Use the same piece of line to secure the body form to the stand. Wrap the body at least two times around. Conceal the wire with the shirt and jacket. Wrap the snowboard multiple times with the monofilament prior to attaching it to the stand. Loop an extra piece of monofilament four feet long through the wire wrapped around the snowboard. This extra piece will be used to tie the snowboard to the body form stand. Secure it with a tight knot. Adjust the clothing to complete the look. Add the hat and you're ready to go. The men's and women's denim walls will be painted in vibrant colors to bring energy to our denim assortment. Yellow for men and pink for women bring the walls to life. For kids, the excitement comes from energized displays, exciting marketing, great props, and new fixture placement. As in Gap, the marketing placement is essential to creating the perfect gift environment. To activate this section, the shelf becomes a sled. Let's take a closer look to learn how to achieve this effect. Begin by placing the lower shelf bracket one standard above the hang bar and the higher shelf bracket four standards above. Make sure the shelf is secure. Place the saddle bracket into position for the mannequins to hold on to. The saddle bracket may need to be adjusted once the mannequins are in place. Bend the mannequin into place. Secure the mannequin to the wall and complete the pose. Lightly sprinkle the snow on the mannequin. Avoid sprinkling snow on the merchandise housed below the sled shelf. The second mannequin should be secured using the cable loop near the neck. Attach the cable loop to the saddle bracket. Make sure the loop is not visible from the customer's view. Then add the hat form. Again, finesse the hands and the clothing to create a natural, active pose. Pin the snowball to the backside of the glove. Make sure the pin is not visible from the customer's view. Lightly sprinkle snow on the mannequin's arms, legs, and chest. Remove any snow that has fallen onto the floor or onto the merchandise below. 
Now let's take a closer look at the positioning of the mannequins for the sled display. A mannequin bends similar to the human body at its waist, knees, wrists, and elbows. An undressed mannequin will be used to further illustrate the bending point. However, posing is always done once the mannequin is dressed. Start with a flat, unposed mannequin. Press down on the chest and straighten out the legs, arms, and hands. Now you are ready to make the pose. With slight pressure, bend up from the torso, push forward, and place the mannequin on its back. Bend the mannequin's knees holding at the pivot or bending point. Repeat this process with the other leg. Push the leg to the chest, pressing on each section to form and shape. Bend arms at the elbows and curve the fingers down. Keep making adjustments until the desired pose has been achieved. The wardrobe walls have been moved to the center of the store to create an additional shop. Mannequins are secured on the top shelf to add height and excitement to our great product. Select stores will receive custom designed snowboards for boys and girls to use in the center shop. Safety is critical when installing this display. The mannequins must be in perfect condition to hold their props and remain stable. Create a feminine pose by placing the hands on the hip. With the mannequin on its base, carefully lift and place the mannequin on the top shelf of the wardrobe wall. Use the C-clamp to secure the base to the top shelf of the wardrobe wall. Apply pressure to the mannequin hand to secure the snowboard and allow the bottom edge of the snowboard to rest on the top shelf. Lightly shake the wardrobe wall to ensure the mannequin is stable. Lightly sprinkle snow on the mannequin and base. Stores not receiving the snowboards will be given alternative direction in the presentation book. To bring our displays to kids' eye level, stores with enough space should place the mannequins on the floor. To achieve this look, begin by bending the mannequin slightly at its hip. Place the hand on the hip. Bend the knee. Place the foot on the top of the basket. The baskets will be filled with ornaments. The color paper represents the color of the ornaments to be used. Bend the arm at its elbow to hold the tree. Position the tree securely in place. Complete the pose by slightly pushing the shoulders back. Finesse the clothing and lightly sprinkle the tree with snow. Use the dust buster to remove any excess snow that may have fallen on the sales floor.
For Baby Gap, playful displays coupled with props, exciting marketing, and novelty items create the perfect baby gift environment. The baby mannequins are energized and fun. To achieve this sliding display, position the shelves as shown earlier in the Gap Kids sliding shelf installation. Pose the mannequin by twisting the torso and leg. Position the arms up and curve the hands. Secure the mannequin to the wall using the saddle bracket. Make sure you conceal the bracket. Add a hat and secure the snowball by pinning through the front of the glove and through the snowball. Adjust the clothing to create a natural look. Lightly sprinkle the snow and clean any snow that may have fallen onto the floor or merchandise below. Now let's take a closer look. The bending points for baby occur at the waist, elbows, knees, and hands. Undressed mannequins will be used to further illustrate these bending points. This will always be done with a dressed mannequin. Before you dress the mannequin, prepare by straightening the arms, legs, and back. Press on the chest, flatten out the arms, and unfold the hands. Bending at the waist, lift both legs up. Bend each leg at its knee and twist the leg sideways. Twist one arm across the chest and pull the other arm straight up. Fold the hands to create a curve. Now the baby is ready for the display. That's holiday, make it happen.